Hey, Shugs, welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. We. <laughs> All right, I'm doing a post review. I finished a diamond painting. I actually finished two diamond paintings in July. I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself. I finished Red Moon by Distracted by Diamonds, and I finished uh, this one, which is Imagine by Rachel Froud, and offered, well, it was offered by Treasure Studios Art. This kit is no longer available. Rachel Froud is not a artist with TSA anymore, and you know, these things happen. Artist contracts come up and sometimes they get renewed and sometimes they don't. So uh, I am sad that Rachel Froud is no longer um, an artist with TSA, but I'm very fortunate that I was able to get this beautiful, beautiful diamond painting um, depicting her artwork. I wish I had the original artwork to show you, but because she's no longer an artist with TSA, I don't have that to um, give you for the comparison, so I apologize. Uh, but we are gonna go over this kit. Now, uh, before we get into the kit, I want to welcome Mackenzie, uh, who is Dragon Wing Diamonds, to my YouTube channel membership. So thank you so much, Mackenzie, for joining my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Um, all of my member support has been fantastic, and it allows me to continue to do things like this and show you awesome diamond paintings and accessories. So thank you so much, Mackenzie. Please go check her out. She just started a new YouTube channel. Called Dragon Wing Diamonds. I will have her link down below. So let's uh, let's show Mackenzie some love for starting a YouTube channel. Um, she does diamond painting and has awesome stories in her whipping chat. So check her out. All right. So this is Imagine by Rachel Froud. It is a 60 by 80 round drill cut from Treasure Studios Art. Now this was purchased. Are you sitting down? June 25th of 2020. Um, I received it the middle of August of 2020. It does take a little bit of time to get to you. Um, and the reason for that is a lot of people ask me, why does it take so long? And the reason for that is because when you place an order with Treasure Studios Art, the order gets sent to the factory. The factory makes your order and then ships it to you from the factory in China. So basically when you order with Treasure Studios Art, it is similar to a custom order because it's made when you put that order in. They do not have any of these diamond paintings in stock sitting around in a warehouse. So just keep that in mind. Um, so it is made to order. Okay, so this was an 80 by 60 and it was in the smaller round drills that TSA used to offer. They no longer offer the 2.5 millimeter small drills. I am sad about that. I love the small drills, even though there are some there were some issues with clumping and, you know, inconsistent size. I really liked the smaller round drills. I feel it gave, you know, a diamond painting like this way more detail than a normal round drill would have. Um, but they are no longer making, the manufacturer is no longer making the smaller round drills due to those issues. So TSA has gone to a 2.7 millimeter round drill uh, for their round drill kits now. Um, Hopefully I don't have any issues because I have like seven or eight of the older round drill kits that I haven't done yet, but I'm sure if there's a problem, I can reach out to Rachel or Peter and I'm sure they'll handle it for me. So, okay. Uh, this is on a mounting film adhesive and this is different than pour glue. So it's similar to a double-sided adhesive, but better. And this comes on with a clear cover. So for those of you new to diamond painting, um, mounting film adhesive is much, much stickier than pour glue. So when you put a drill down, it's not gonna go anywhere. And you need to be pretty sure of where you're putting that drill down um, because it's gonna be difficult to move it. Uh, you can still move it, don't get me wrong, but it's just, it's gonna take a little extra effort. <laughs> so I really like the uh, mounting film adhesive. I've never had any issue with the two that I've finished. Uh, with the drills moving, coming up, popping, I've had none of that. Um, but again, I've only done the round drill kit. I have not done the square drills uh, with TSA because we all know how much I love square drill kits. Yes. Okay, when I bought this, it was, my total was $66.03. I did use Jeremy's discount code. He has a 15% off discount code. So I did use that at the time. Um, so, like I said, my total was $66.03. Oops, 
which is really not bad for a diamond painting of this size. I mean, this, this is a huge diamond painting, in my opinion. Probably the biggest one that I've done. Uh, um, okay, what else? Uh, yeah, trash drill. I already put the trash in the tray. This is the only trash I had with this diamond painting, which is so minimal for a diamond painting of this size. I mean, yes. This is a Muni made tray, by the way. I'll have that listed down below as well. Okay, trash. Uh, these are the drills I had left over. Did not run out of any of the drills. I got close on a few, but I did not run out. Y'all, this orange, 971. Gosh, I'm dead. Love it. Love it. So, all kinds of... There were only 29 colors in this kit, which to me is amazing. All the detail and how much color in this kit with only 29 colors. It's fabulous. Fabulous. So, very minimal trash, plenty of leftover drills. Um, now, I've, I've already had people message me and say, you know, why, why did it take you so long to finish this kit? Well, let me tell you. Uh, for those of you new to the channel, um, I am a very slow diamond painter. I take my time. I don't rush anything. Um, I used to be in the mindset with my OCD uh, that I would have to start one kit and finish it before I can move on to another kit. I no longer have that mindset. I can't. I have too many diamond paintings in my stash to have that mindset. And with me being a slow diamond painter, I'm just going to work on what I feel like working on. I think I've got seven whips going right now. Um, and I don't care. I'm, I'm going to work on what I want to work on. If I wake up tomorrow and I decide, hey, I want to open a new kit and start it. Great. I'm going to do that. And I want to encourage anyone that diamond paints, whether you're new, whether you're a veteran, just do what you want to do, Shog. <laughs> don't feel like you have to work on one and you know finish it completely. Um, the only time I put that time limit crunch on myself is when I'm trying to participate in an event like this one for uh, Pride or you know any of the awesome events that are going on in the community on a regular basis. There are so many events that I can't participate in all of them. Um, but when there is an event that I'm participating in, I am going to solely work on that kit. However, I do work on other kits on the side. Y'all just don't see them. So um, I just want to throw that bit of friendly advice out there to all of you fellow diamond painters. Take your time, work on what you want to work on. If you want to start a new kit, start a new kit. If you finish it, great. If you don't finish it, who cares? You'll get to it when you get to it. So just wanted to give that bit of uh, advice that has helped me. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So I think that's it um, as far as reviewing um, Imagine by Rachel Froud. Uh, again, I, I can't link this one uh, because it's not available, but TSA has fabulous, fabulous artists and they are all licensed diamond paintings. So you never have to worry about getting a kit with stolen artwork, um, which I'm a, I'm a very, I'm a huge advocate for licensed artwork and will only buy licensed artwork uh, diamond paintings. So definitely check them out. So I will put the link for Treasure Studios Art for their main website down below. So you can go and check out all of their awesome uh, artists that they have. They've gotten two or three new artists uh, recently that are fabulous, fabulous. Um, not really my style, but they're, they're very, very interesting and they're very beautiful. So definitely check them out. So I think that's all I have to show you for this. It was a joy to work on. Um, I am glad it's finished. It, it had been staring me in the face for over a year, but I got it done. Let me know in the comments below, has anyone worked on this diamond painting, finished it? Have you done any of the other Rachel Froud diamond paintings that were offered from TSA um, previously? Let me know down below. I'd really, I'd really like to know your thoughts on, um, you know, your experience with working on the canvas. So let me know. Yay. All right. Well, I am going to go and start a new diamond painting since I finished this one. So I hope everybody has a fabulous rest of your weekend and um, 
try to relax, do something for you. Always make sure that you, you know, take time for yourself. And I am going to say this and I'm not trying to be a downer, but make sure that you tell the people that you love how much you care about them. Um, don't wait, make sure you do that because you never know if you'll have another chance. So, um, I learned that the hard way this past week. So please just make sure you let the people you know uh, that you love, let, let them know how much you care about them. Um, it's very important. Anyway, everybody have a great weekend and I will see you again really soon. Bye guys.